We're just, uh, it's a really exciting weekend, huh? Um, it was pretty awesome to see that uh, our two basketball teams won, volleyball won, soccer won, our uh, cross-country team uh, advanced to the NCAA championship. So what a great start to a, to a cool weekend. I'm glad I'm a part of it. So I, I thought the thought the crowd for Friday night, early season game, uh, this weekend, it was, it was great. Our students were great. Um, I think they're going to have a lot of fun this weekend. Uh, I was just really proud of our guys. Uh, you know, it was a little bit of a gut check game. Got off, we got a little, we got excited there early and got a, a little momentum, and then we just fight, fighting the game a little bit. But credit to, to uh, Coach Reed and, and to Lehigh. They have an experienced team. They've played a lot of minutes together, and, and the, the way they play you can give you problems, and they gave us some problems. It was really good to play a team like that that is di very disciplined and, and uh, trying to run, run tempo. And, I think it was really good that uh, we played a team like that. Uh, there's going to be a lot of tape to watch that, that's going to really help us get better. And I thought down the stretch, our press, uh, that's the cumulative effect of the press. And I thought that really helped us and uh, got us going and built, built some momentum. And I thought Kanye and, and Ace uh, down the stretch and Nick, uh, Nick's defense late in the game was important. And then, you know, uh, Q with 18 rebounds. That's a man right there, man. 18 rebounds. I don't care in any college game, you get 18 rebounds. You, you're working, and I'm uh, really proud of him. Mike, why didn't they start tonight? Coach's decision. Could you elaborate on the coach's nope. decision? It's my guy. Love the guy. I'll play uh, any team in any arena in America with Ace Baldwin on my team. Just leave it at that. With Mike, uh, with Ace, that's the first time in his career that, that he's ever come off the bench. I mean, how did you feel like in that specific role for tonight, him coming off the bench, how do you think he handled that from like the game flow perspective? And the Pretty darn part? good, huh? He's a competitor, man. He's He wants to win. Uh, you know, I've always said this about Ace Baldwin. Um, I've watched him play since he was a ninth grader. He, he always finds a way to win. He, he, he What he is elite at is competing. And uh, he'll do whatever it takes to win a basketball game. And throughout his career, since I've been watching in ninth grade, he has done that at the highest level against the best players. And he's not afraid. He's fearless. And like I said, I, I'll play anybody anywhere with Ace Baldwin on my team. Mike, we're, we're uh, obviously getting to know you in this process. How do you digest a game like this where maybe the situations weren't, aren't necessarily what you expect? Yeah. Well, what do you expect? Shoot a shutout? Uh, no, we're supposed to win by 30. No, I, I, I mean, right. We, uh, we all want it to be perfect. It's never going to be perfect. What I, it's really important to me that, uh, I don't know. I, I, I love to watch our guys go through adversity and really grow. And the way you get through adversity is together, be tough and, and be together. So, um, playing good teams and playing, playing teams, are you, well, we're supposed to win by 25, 30, or whatever. Great. That's what they think. Coach Nunley, who I worked for, used to say, just get me a one-pointer. Still a dub. Um, but I love that there's adversity through in games and your team in the moment and through that adversity finds ways to compete and find ways to fix things and win. And you add a bunch of that up as you move along, you, you, you know, you get grizzled. You get better. And uh, then th then moments like that, as we move along in the year, those experiences help you. So, yeah, I want to win every game by 100 and, and maybe sit down someday. But that's we're, dealing, we're still dealing with 18 to 22-year-olds, my man. And so uh, I was frustrated because we didn't finish the half well of mental mistakes. Now, they had a lot to do with it, um, and I just didn't think we had the intensity on the defense like we had the other night. Um, but I loved how we responded in the second half, even though it wasn't wasn't great and we had we had too many turnovers that led to to baskets um, that we couldn't defend we uh, we found a way there at the eight minute mark to use our press to get things going all those things are going to make us better and better and they're learning experiences that, that to me is very important uh, coach you, you held them to 30 30 percent shooting in the second half yeah. um, first half they had a lot of backdoor cuts kind of off secondary things and then what were some of the adjustments you wanted to make at halftime to kind of tighten the screws defensively in yeah the second half? off the ball um, you know they're they don't run a lot of sets or plays that you can just scout in our guys oh this is going to occur and this is going to happen I could do this so there's a lot of read and react 
type of stuff on, on the way they play with their motion. And if you guess and you're wrong, they counter you. And uh, I, I also thought their guards did a lot of more screening off the ball, and we did, our guards didn't help us enough uh, when their man screened. Just got to get better at that. Uh, I knew that would be a little bit of an issue because it's habit building and we're still learning each other and, and stuff like that. I thought we got better at it. I thought Nick really set the tone late in the game, guarding number 13, blowing some screens up, um, finding different ways to get through screens that helped. And I thought we did a good job of, of guarding without fouling, too. We had two bad ones, the one that late in the game. But I thought we did a pretty good job, even though they had some tough twos. We, we, we guarded better without fouling. So that off-the-ball stuff, you just got to keep working on and get better and better. Coach, two games in, obviously, we had the Bahamas and the, and the scrimmage in Pittsburgh. What's the biggest surprise for you? Could be good or bad so far now that we are, you know, two wins into the season. I thought we'd shoot the ball better, and I think we will. I mean, I, I, mean, I don't think Zach messed his finger, shooting finger up, but, I mean, I, I don't think he's going to be 0 for 7 much. Um, uh, we we got to shoot the ball better. We had some inside-outside threes we got to knock down. Leo's going Leo's to knock those down as well. Uh, too loose with the basketball. Too loose. Now, this is what you got to understand. When you play fast and aggressive and you have the green light to attack all the time and we play sort of frantic on, on defense and we play so hard, you got to be able to, uh, like John Wooden always said, be quick but don't hurry, right? The other part of it is we say switching gears. Sometimes we got to switch gears so we know we're getting a great shot uh, coming down. We just, that, that, those two things, the, the shooting has got to get better and um, we we got to take care of the basketball. Defensively, I just think some of the guys off the bench got to just keep getting their feet wet and, and, and getting better on the defense, especially guarding, guarding guys that can play. Uh, Mike, when we talked to Ace just now, he said that he, he and Kanye kind of talk, and they say that they're the best backcourt in the nation. That's just the mentality that they have. Good. Um, when they do share the court together, as we kind of saw tonight, how do they complement each other? I know with Kanye's... Speed and, and Ace is kind of athletic. Yeah, they're ability. both pretty fast and crafty, right? And, and you know, Kanye is more of a scoring point guard where Ace is more of a playmaking point guard. So you can play with them both, and you could attack different matchups. So they're going to put the worst guard defender on one of them. You can put – now you can put them in different positions. So you, we could be tricky with that. Uh, you know, I think they – they both are aggressive. And when you have two dynamic guards that are aggressive, um, it's just harder harder to guard, right? Harder to guard. And also defensively, they're both ball hawkers. They could steal the ball and, and they could put pressure on the game. And they could ruin the game just with their on-the-ball pressure. But we have two of them. Uh, so you're not wearing one out all the time. So uh, I, th I think they're dynamic that way. And they're both confident. They're both aggressive guys. They think, you know, they're, they think they're very good. And I think they both are. Um, I think Kanye has a, a new lease on life here, right? Go. I mean, he too many turnovers today, but he, 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 he has confidence right now, and he's playing with confidence. And I also think Ace gives him that, and I think it, they give each other that. It's important. What can you say about DeMarco going into the starting lineup and the offensive spark he gave you guys, especially yeah. early in the game? Yeah. Had some key baskets, made when times were necessarily tough. Yeah, I mean, he's a talented player and scorer, and we, we, we need to continue to – just give him more time and confidence. It's coming. It's coming. He was in a specific role at his last school uh, with not a lot of opportunity. He realizes he has more opportunity. He's just got to continue. He's just got to, you know, he's got to jump in the deep end and figure it out. And he and he's doing that. But he's a talented scorer. He could really get up, get up on guys around the basket. He could shoot it in. He's a good pull up. Uh, defensively, you know, he's athletic and he and he's, he's strong. He just got to continue. He's got to gain experience, and and he will. I really like coaching him, and he really wants to be a good player. He's just got to continue to mature, and and we got to continue to give him great confidence because I really I really like coaching him. All right, guys, have a great night. Thank you.